This footage shows a rescue operation to find stolen dogs and bring them home. More than 70 dogs worth at least £40,000 were found at this location in Carmarthenshire last month. Among the dogs and puppies found were some belonging to Tony Cronin, a dog breeder and trainer from Carmarthenshire. They were stolen from his home just a week earlier. We were only gone 30 minutes um, and as we pulled into our premises I noticed the doors were open and the cage doors were open um, and the caravan was open and we, we realised then that, um, you know, that they did us. Determined to find his dogs, Tony undertook his own investigation with the help of another victim of dog theft. After receiving a tip-off about a location, he went to see whether his dogs were there. It was very well hidden, which is the reason why they use it. Um, and as we were going up the track, um, a huge group of dogs came out to greet us. And there was Westies, Labradors, um, Pugs, everything, uh, just running at us, barking like mad. Among all the dogs, Tony spotted a familiar face. Right in the middle of the group running towards us was one of my own dogs. Um, her tail was right down between her legs because she was a little bit frightened. So it was quite an emotional reunion uh, for you? Uh, your, yeah. She was coming quite timid until I called her. And as soon as I started calling her, she ran out and jumped in my arms. And, and that was it then. Lockdown has seen demand for dogs soar. But such high demand has also seen prices rocket, with the cost of puppies doubling over the last year, leading to a surge in theft. A Freedom of Information request revealed there were 26 cases of dog theft reported to Dover Powys Police between January and September last year, an increase of 13% compared to the whole of 2019. Well, certainly it is concerning. We've seen an increase over the last 12 months, you know, for reasons pandemic, people are wanting more pets, dogs, there's been an increase in demand, uh, there's been an increase in prices and obviously criminality will see that as an opportunity of making some easy money and taking advantage of the situation. To refer again to that uh, that case in, in Carmarthenshire, the, the dogs were actually found by one of the owners of the, of the dogs uh, that had gone missing, so in effect the general public are doing your job for you, are they not? Well, a part of the police's role is to work with the community, surely, and the community should be, we rely on them to provide us information. But that, that, um, that owner got some information, followed up themselves, they called the police, and the police were there. And that's resulted in the recovery of those dogs. Since the raid, 22 dogs have been reunited with their owners, and the police have set up a task force to tackle dog theft in the area. But the main message is to remain vigilant and to take every precaution to keep our faithful friends safe. Sean Jenkins, ITV News.